Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this video, we're gonna figure out how we can turn our 1kg machine into a sample roaster. Coffee Night connected with me on uh, Instagram, saying, hey, we'll send you some samples, and I forgot all about it. And then I was like scratching my head when DHL showed up my door and was like, boom, here are these samples. And I was like, oh crap, I totally forgot about batch size. <laughs> but I looked it up and um, it looks like you can do it. You just have to dial back your uh, preheat temp. Uh, lower, lo everything's lower because the batch size is so small. So I did some research, right? And I was looking at Sweet Maria's YouTube and he was using his one kg Alio Bullet, right? Alio Bullet and roasting 150 gram samples. And he's like, I don't see why you couldn't roast 100 gram samples. So I was like, dude, it's totally possible. <laughs> But we're gonna find that out today. I have some 100, it's just about, 100 gram sample of like, I think it might be Peru, but I wanted to start off with a washed coffee first, and then I'll move into like a natural. And if we can create a washed profile for sampling, a natural profile for sampling, then we're gonna do that. Um, some of my research led, led me to believe that uh, sample roasting is not like production roasting or roasting for a customer. It's really just to find out the quality of the green, okay? So if we're potentially looking at some exotic coffees from Coffee Net, which is what I'm planning on doing, um, and if we like something, then we'll buy something. During this time of experimentation, the things that I could drastically change is drum speed. And I'm actually looking to, as the coffee beans are in there at a 45 degree angle. I tried to look as everywhere as I could just with as much time as I had this week to see, but I really wanted to get a jump start on roasting these uh, coffee samples that I got. Um, this is not it yet. Like I said, I'm going to just try to create a standard and then I'll try to roast one of their samples and not mess it up. So I'm already at 300 on the PID. I'm going to go ahead and back off now see how that does and I'm thinking the charge that I'm gonna charge at today is gonna be like 200 let's go with that one so yeah I'm gonna come down and no, none of this will be documented using rose path like I normally do I'm all just gonna write it down here in this nifty little thing from Bodhi this chart that I got um, so that I could document everything by hand. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> I was gonna mark this so I could see how fast it was going. Oh, I do have it actually, I did mark it. So I can count that actually. And I need a little timer so I can see how many revolutions I actually am going at. What's my real RPM? Go, one, two, three. All right, 54 revolutions per minute here. And on my dial, it's actually 70. So it's a little off, right? Interesting. Maybe I want to start at, since it's a wash coffee, maybe I want to start at like 225. Let's just start there because that's what the Sweet Maria guy said. He started at 225 and I'll, I'll go up or down from, from here on out. But it'll kind of be hard because I won't have another 100 gram sample of this Peru. <laughs> and I have all these like leftover 100 gram here, 100 gram there of uh, different types of coffee. So let's just see what happens. I'm s I've been so excited to roast these samples because I didn't know how uh, this was going to turn out. And it's just another new thing. And new things are always exciting. Depending on how the beans look in the sight glass we want these beans to kind of be seen like at a 45 degree angle in there i don't know if that's true i read that somewhere i don't even remember now so we'll mess with um we'll kind of mess with drum speed <laughs> We go for it. Two thirty. Let's go for it. I'm slowing it down. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's good. We're down to 50 on the dial. And I'm still doing a soak. I don't know if I need to do a soak. No idea. I went up to 2 kPa on the fuel. <laughs> I don't know. I had a lot of notes written down and then I don't know where I put them, those notes. on the dial, on the drum speed, on the machine. Let's see what happens. I guess I should have plugged in my roaster to just kind of keep track of the ROR and see what it looked like. It, or even if the bean probe was reading. And it looks like, I don't even think you would get a proper reading on it, because the probe is there. No idea. <laughs> can I even get some here in the try right here? I can, a little. <laughs> Doing this feels so weird, like, like nothing makes sense. <laughs> Got 262 on the PID, got 4 minutes 36, so it's not yellowing yet. It's getting, it's slower. I'm going to increase the heat a little. Increase the drum speed too a little. It looks like it's modeling a little bit, which I don't think I want. Yeah, that looks good. It's supposed to sound like a choo choo train, right? That's a little fast. Okay. Remember that from Mill City Rose? Choo 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 train rhythm. Here we are, getting yellow. Yeah, it looks good. Mark it at 548. Increase it with just a little smidge. It's looking okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Came down to 1.5 kPa, we're at 6 minutes 30. Let's ride this out for a bit. I 
It smells so good. Take a look at that. Right here. That's seven minutes and coming down to one kPa. You know? Yeah. So basically really similar to a, a typical roast, I guess. Um, the only thing you change is the preheat time and the charge time. So I think after this, it looks like we'll be able to move right into coffee nut samples and just go for it. Again, with, with sample roasting, what I understand is like, it's not about, you know, you're not serving to, this, to a customer. This is for you to decide on the quality of the green and whether or not you would want to purchase, right? So you would score the green if you were like a green buyer. You would score it still um, in-house, and then you would score what's in the cup, and then you would probably score um, right after roast, and then maybe another... Uh, maybe three to six days after roast or something like that, you know, just to kind of see where the the flavors kind of settle out uh, and and then go from there, like, and then make your decision. So I was really interested in what Coffee Net was saying, which is like, oh, we have a lot of exotic coffee. I was like, what's exotic, you know? All right, we're at 8 minutes 30. I'm just going to come down, and I don't know what my bean temp is, but just from the color and, oh, first... Outlier crack. And I heat them. I actually think I could have kept that one. Keeping one KPA now going into first crack. really similarly to any other coffee. Cool. Just paying attention and, you know, adjusting. I think just knowing where to start first was a huge help. Even though it still felt like Kind of like roasting on a hot top again. You know, you didn't have a lot of power, so you just kind of had to. All right, we're gonna drop very soon. Drop that. 11:47. Oh, 
take a look. <laughs> Where are you? Hey, you gotta open it right here. There it is. That's beautiful. Alright. See a little tipping on those, so. Okay. Yeah, they look great. Confident, I can roast the rest of these um, 100 gram samples. No problem. <laughs> and barely any smoke because it's so small. Alright, yeah, get over here. Get over here. Spread them out a little bit. You guys gotta spread out. Okay, so here are the samples. These exotic samples from Coffee Bowl. Um, we're just gonna go. There's a lot of them. Oh, I see. <laughs> I didn't read this. It's the grower. Grower region. So they're all from different growers. This is anaerobic. Washed. Interesting. This one's from Julio. That's what I can read. They're all names. Katura. Washed. Alright, cool. So these are all coffees that people have grown. So let's take a look at the green. First sample. Uh, things coming down in temperature there. Take a look at this green. These are all 100 gram samples. And I would have liked to put it back into these bags, but I can't because it's green. You don't want to get roasted coffee and contact it with green coffee. You don't want to mix that up, all right? too many allergens and whatnot in here and just looking at the quality it looks really good the quality looks great nice size bean cool all right this is a thing will act as similarly as that ah. 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 Okay, this is my own green and the coffee there. That's beautiful. So now we get to roast this. And now I have to figure out where I'm gonna put them though. You know, each of these samples. <laughs> I guess in a plastic bag? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're just, let's just put them in a plastic bag. Okay, so we're gonna keep with this setting of uh, 50 on the drum speed and we really are just kind of roasting it really similarly to the to a typical coffee, a typical washed coffee. We're gonna put all these uh, done samples um, in a bag and then we'll, they came with these nice little stickers so we'll just tape this to that so that we don't lose track of what we're doing here. Um, and we will cup at the rest of this, or maybe I'll put it as a, as a separate thing, but we will cup them and go through that. But I thought this was gonna be really important to see Roasting samples on your 1kg roaster, like, it just didn't even cross my mind. I wanted to keep my hot top for that long time ago, but then when I was talking to Coffee Net, and it just didn't even cross my mind that I didn't have a sample roaster, but so fortunate that, um, I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, honestly. I mean, look at this. This looks great. It's good enough to cup and grade. We did a good job here. Good job. <laughs> So I got my little baggie, just like that, and we will proceed. Oh, I almost forgot to record. Alright, I'm going to roll through these. Really pretty. These are longer. Oh, so I don't know the elevation of these coffees. Um, 
Yeah, I'd like to learn more about them. Whoosh whoosh? I want to try a whoosh whoosh varietal. <laughs> My name is Whoosh Whoosh. Um, I missed my soak on this a little bit by like 20 seconds. I'm not paying attention. Uh, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. The choo choo train reference, I think that helped me in the first time. So, that's good. Mmm. Looking good. Almost to yellow. I got yellow at 5.48 last time. Yep. This is nice. <gasps> Such small batches, is like, you know, barely any smoke. Like, just babysitting these little beans. Got that choo-choo train in there. All right, we call that yellow? Yes, yellow. Twenty-seven. Okay, so I'm gonna roast all the samples today. I think if you're doing this on your own, um, I would start with a wash first because wash is just generally easier for you to figure out what your standard is, like on your own machine. You'll most likely have to adjust your preheat and your charge, and I went down by quite a bit, right? Adjust your drum speed to and look for the choo-choo train rhythm, if that helps. Um, document your time. If your bean probe doesn't hit where it's supposed to. I didn't attach my rose path. I kind of want to at this point. Um, I feel like I could just get a good sample roast out of these guys without it. And go from there. With naturals, um, just like roasting a natural, a regular natural full-size batch for yourself, you just back off a little bit more, you know. And I think, I think that'll be fine, but again, I haven't cupped anything, so these are all assumptions. There goes an outlier. Be good. Um, now, because there you go. Okay, first crack at 8:48. That's good. I'm at a point eight kPa. I can see this sort of unevenness though, but you know, we'll let this guy tumble a little bit. We get a kind of a slow crack until it's going. And some of them are really developed and some are not, so that's concerning. But let's see.
1048 will drop. Five KPA. We've got ten forty eight coming up soon. need more heat. I didn't know their elevation. But some of them are well developed and some of them are so modeled a little. There's our 100 gram sample. So then we seal this guy barely and attach. And there you go samples ready to be cut i'm gonna put this guy back in here and next guy is this guy Boop. i'm gonna continue on my own and we'll check back here with the cupping see ya